Well, hello everyone and welcome to Canva Corner. Today we are going to talk about Canva keyboard shortcuts. If you are a mouser, this is the, uh, the episode for you because these keyboard uh, shortcuts are going to save you a ton of time while you are designing. Plus, at the end of the, today's video, we are going to give you a download that has all these shortcuts we're going to be talking to, uh, about today in a nice little Canva document, all prepared just for you. If you are watching this in our live Facebook group, we want you to actually leave a note in the show notes. Let us know when is the best time for you to actually join in and um, and join our tip live. We'd love to know what's going to work best into your schedule. So let us know that. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can be reminded every time we do a Canva Corner, which by the way, is every Wednesday. So let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, well, first of all, I want to introduce my guest and cohort and co-host, Jenna Bryan. Hey. Jenna Bryan. Hello there. Hello, I'm here for the ride. I didn't know about shortcuts, so I'm excited about I'm, I, I forget. Are you a, are you a keyboarder? I mean, excuse me, a mouser or a shortcut keyboarder? I like to use the mouse, but I also like shortcuts. I know. It's, really, it's funny. I never, I'm ever old. used shortcuts before in the past. And I am finding myself using them more and more and more. And I don't know. You know, I always just thought mousing was faster. That was just right. But uh, I'm finding that actually that's not always the case. So we're going to learn about that a little bit more today. So and um, uh, let's go School ahead. Us, Mr. Emerson. I'm going to do so. We are going to talk about shortcuts today. As always, I want to remind you that you can go to Canva.com if you don't already have a Canva uh, subscription. It is absolutely free. You can get the basic version for free, or you can upgrade to Pro for just $12.95 a month and get all of the incredible, incredible tools in Canva. They are currently, and they have been for the longest time ever since I've known, run a 30-day free trial for that uh, Pro version. So you can uh, absolutely jump in and see all the tools you would have if you had that version well worth the $12.95 a month if you uh, want to do that. So like Jen and I were just talking about uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts using your um, uh, uh, your keyboard can really save you a lot of time. The, the, the shortcuts that you're going to find in Canva are very similar to the shortcuts you'd find in Microsoft Word or in, in Mac. Uh, but for me, I can't believe the time that you can save by just using some of these uh, shortcuts. So let's go ahead and jump in. So here's a copy of a design that we we work on. Actually, we use this when we're promoting our Canva Corner uh, Canva Corner uh, tip. The first shortcut that I uh, want to uh, show you today that I you know am constantly grouping things together. Do you do a lot of grouping, Jan? Yes, absolutely, because it keeps it all in alignment. Right, exactly. But so I honestly my, don't know how to do it in Canva. That right. So my grouping process has always been. <laughs> Highlight shift, hot connect, highlight shift. You know, it's kind of like you do when you're doing anything on your your lap, your your you know your thing all together. Once you have them all uh, highlighted here, you go up to um, you can go up to group, and you can group them all together. An easier way to do this is just to make sure you're on your the the actual design you want you want to do. This makes me laugh. And then it's just command or control A, and it groups everything together all. No way. way. I know. Okay, so <laughs> Command A. Command A gets wow. your all of your stuff grouped immediately together. So right there, to me, that was worth the price of admission alone, right? When you do Command A, do you need to then go up there and hit that lock button or that group button? You can't, yeah, you can do that. And that would actually hold them together. You know, it depends on what you're trying to do. A lot of times I will group things together uh, and just kind of move them slightly so I can get to another image. Now this groups everything, like all the images. You see, notice the background image did not group in here. This was just the elements that are on the top, on the top layer. Of the top okay. layer. So remember, if you have a bunch of layers in your Canva design, it's probably going to only choose the top layer that's on there, which is typically all you want to do because you want to group like things together. So um, uh, <laughs> Command A, it's a beautiful thing. If you just want to, you know, that so that that kind of brings everything in your, your whole screen together. If you want to get everything grouped, if you just want to actually group Jan, you can actually a shortcut for that. So say I want to group this top box and I want to group the Facebook Live. Um, so once again, Command G. Whoop. Or now G for group. group, A for all, I guess. Yep, A for all, G for group. I can so that. easy as that. I mean, come on, right? Right. Uh, 
right. worth the price of admission already, man. I know. I'm just you. Exactly. A lot of times you want to uh, create, or I create designs where I want to delineate text or delineate a photo or something, make there a, you know, a definite, you know, uh, area that separates from another area. And I use a line for that. Well, they have a ton of lines over in the elements. Uh, and there's just, what I'm usually looking for is just a basic old line. Uh, here, best shortcut ever. Ready? L. Just hit L. <laughs> just and the L key? Just when you hit the L key, boom! Oh, wow. A line appears. So, so can you change ahead. things, the elements? Can you change the width and the thing? And yeah, all so that? Here, I'm going to show you the tip on the lines. Okay. Because I'm always looking for a skinny line, and this damn mm -hmm. fat line always shows up. Okay, that's like that was where I was it, going. It gets a little bit frustrating, right? So um, the way that you actually do this, the easiest way to get a thinner line that looks a little more professional, I think, you know, and, and isn't quite so... <laughs> chunky and in your face. <laughs> you just take the corner, you drag the line to the width that you want it to be. So oh, there, a little bit you, smaller there. Then and then you can it. just make, you can pull it on oh, out. That's easy peasy. Yeah, super easy. And there you go. So now we have a nice little line that divides our. And once again, what was that shortcut key? Not command. Yeah, very, very difficult. Just L. L. <laughs> L. Why didn't they make that easy? Like with everything? Oh, I guess they couldn't really no, do that because you would type letters. Not. Okay, but wait, there's more. I know that you're happy about having that line on there with your L, but if you click R, boom, you get a rectangle as well. <laughs> Here, what about four circle? I hate to be so excited about the silliest thing, right? But oh my God, I'm telling Just you. Just put a rectangle in? Oh my God, that's I want to use that. I know, I know. But so, wait, can, can you do more than an L and, a, and an R? Uh, so let's go let's go through this again if you want to do an l you want to do a line l you want to do a rectangle r if you want to do a circle c no way there you go get out of here this is the best part of this whole show <laughs> i'm telling you right now you know i have i don't want to say i have waste i don't want to say you waste any time when you're i running. have wasted i'll say it <laughs> because here's the thing. I think you're always learning, right? Oh, and if you unless you go in when you first get into Canva and you watch ten thousand videos, because there are ten thousand videos to watch, um, you know, you have to kind of self-teach. Well, can, can I ask if this is a square? Is S a square? I think so because I, I, well, I no, I'm, I'm sure there's not because you oh, can because you can make the rectangle a square. All right, fair but enough. I don't, think you, I don't think you should ever say never. Let's see what happens if we hit S. No, no, no. no All square. right. So. so yeah. Yeah. You'll have to eyeball your, eyeball your square. All right. <laughs> anyway, that that uh, to me uh, is uh, the best Canva tip I have learned. Oh, my God. Make. Thank you for sharing that, Matt Emerson. That was brilliant. I'm okay. so excited. I'm going to go to Canva now and play. Another tool that I use all the time when I'm looking, especially if I'm trying to make sure that my, my uh, images are where they need to be either properly aligned or if they're all the way to the end of the page, or I want to get deeper into the document. So I want to really bring that document in at the, you know, so you really get a kind of a close up of what's going on in your design. At the bottom of your screen down here, you'll see a little percentage sign. And it, this uh, on my, my Canva, when the, where I have my screen ratio, it usually lands around 64 or 65%. Mm -hmm. And that's what fits in my screen. But I'm often wanting to go and make that either smaller or, or larger, either get a bigger picture or to get a smaller picture of what's going on in my design. And you can go in here and you can actually change this by typing in the actual, uh, you know, percentage you want. Like I want it to be 150% or I want it to be 200% or whatever. You can actually, <laughs> here, let's, let's try it. Uh, command control, the plus sign, and it just makes your image all that oh, that's like a standard. Uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of these. Are, a lot of these are I didn't know you could do it in here. Though. A lot of those are seen. Yeah, but you can do all those. Most of them you can do right in your Canva as well. Just you know, for a quick pull in, like you're saying, to check yeah. the design. Uh, I'm then, telling you, you'll find this, especially if you're going to be doing stuff where you may be editing video and you're dropping presentation slides into a video or something, mm -hmm. um, that you might not have the sizing quite right on some of your elements in there. And you don't really notice it so much when you're just looking at it one off or if you print it out. But if you're watching the video back, you're like, oh, there's a little white space between those two elements that I didn't see. So I will often go in and get really close, like magnify it sometimes up to 250 to 300 percent just to make sure that there's no white in between my elements. Um, 
you know, and, th and that's pretty granular, right? But mm -hmm. if you're if you're if you're trying to really do things that look as professional as possible, which we all are uh, to a certain degree anyway, um, uh, you this is a great tool just to zoom in and out. And once again, you can do all of these things, you know, in the in the program just by going to the different uh, uh, you know prompts throughout the screen. But the keyboard uh, shortcuts are so 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 much faster, just like you can on most uh, other keyboard sh uh, shortcuts if you want to. Uh, bold uh, any of your text. It's uh, super easy to do that. It's just control B. That was already bolded. So it actually unbolded it. But see, if you click that, it will bold your bold your text. If you want to make it all uppercase, it's uh, shift command K. Well, that's already uppercase. Let's do this one. Shift command K turns them all uppercase. So, you know, a lot of them that are the, are the, uh, are similar keyboard cutouts to uh, the other ways you might have learned them. But I'm telling you, doing it in Canva this mm -hmm. way is so much easier. And actually, honestly, I never even thought that any of these things worked in here until I really discovered it. Uh, and I actually kind of discovered it accidentally, quite frankly, because you can do before in Canva, you all you never could do a real copy and paste. Uh, you could copy things on your element. Mm -hmm. you couldn't yep, copy and paste from one enough. document all the way to another document in right. Canva. Uh, you can now do that by, you know, you can either mouse it or you can, you know, on a Mac anyway, you can control C, control V and uh, copy them and then also move them to different documents as well. That was one of the best improvements they've done in Canva in a long, long time, um, actually doing that whole copy and paste feature because it really helps you if you want to, you know, duplicate your designs as you go, nice. you go along. Um, if you, this is something that I thought was uh, super helpful as well. If you want to bring... Uh, elements to the forward or to the back. And this is usually something you're gonna use with photos more than anything else. As a matter of fact, let's drop a photo in here so I can show you uh, what I'm talking about. Let's just throw in this 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 lovely girl working on her, uh, her phone here. If I wanna move her around uh, as far as layer her, right now she came in, let's see, she's right behind the canvas. I'm gonna bring her to the front. I am. Uh, I can hit control, and I believe it is this one. Let's see here. Yep, there we go. Now I don't know what these bra these. There's just brackets. You know where the the parentheses are? Oh, that's actually yeah. on nine and zero. Uh, next to the P, I don't know what those little square brackets are called. Jan, do you know what those are? No, called? but they're the shift. The, 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 the yeah, yeah, it's next to the P. The, the P key. And like I said, you're going to have these actually in a document uh, today, so you don't have to worry about you know writing any of this down. So I'll show you exactly where these are. But um, one of the the brackets will put things behind. The other bracket will bring them out. But do you the just use command or the command? command just command. Actually, the only one that you really have to do the shifting on is with text. Okay. Everything else is just using the command button. Command or control if you're a Windows yeah, person. Yeah, exactly, or control. Um, there are a lot of other things that I could uh, go in here, and I'll leave you a longer list in your download today. But I just wanted to bring to your attention that it's very, very helpful uh, when you are uh, working in Canva. It'll save you a ton of time. And that's what it's all about, right? We don't want you to go down the rabbit hole that we always talk about uh, when we are uh, talking about marketing and real estate in, in uh, particular, because you need to be out there prospecting and uh, getting deals in the pipeline. Because we have tips in our Facebook group. Uh, every Monday, we have a coach tip, Tuesday, tech tips, Wednesday, Canva tips. And then on Friday, we have our WBNL podcast, new uh, topics for coaching, motivation, and a little travel now and then, uh, and things that are happening around the world on Friday, the WBNL podcast. If you have not joined our Facebook group, please go over to Facebook and jump into it. You can find us over there by searching WBNL Wanderers Club or Wander Not Clo Coaching Wanderers Club. You'll be able to find it that way. Until next week week. I want you to get up, get out, be creative, and be forever wandering, but not lost. Mm -hmm.